turned us on there was no here uh, Kamal Roof back in Glasgow yeah. was he injured or was yeah, he yeah he had an injury uh, he had an injury last week so you know we decided not to bring him to training camp because he wasn't able to, to train and you know he's gonna get some more uh, back on the injury was it better than be in the line for the start of the season or is he well he's, he's, uh, he's now he's at the moment he, he's on the pitch again yeah. so you know, he's working hard to to get uh, to the to the levels mm -hmm. he needs to be to be involved in games. But uh, you know that I think that process will go on, and hopefully, mm -hmm. you know he will be ready uh, for the start because it's going to be a lot of games. And uh, but we have to uh, yeah see every every week yeah. where he stands. Is there a time scale on Yanis Hadji, Gio, and when you expect him to be back amongst it? No, not yet, because he's uh, of course he, he, his injury is uh, a little bit more complicated, and uh, so we don't know yet. And again, at him, we have to see how he progresses. But I don't expect him to be um, to be back uh, before the World Cup break. So hopefully, it gives him five extra weeks, and, and we we have to assess then at the moment if he will uh, come back after after the World Cup, or maybe he needs some more time. Philip Hollander, is there any? What, what's the situation with him? How's Philip, he well, Philip is doing well. He, he did well this week, and then uh, uh, yesterday he uh, he felt something. So we just kept him out of the the training to uh, to make sure we we assess that uh, feeling he has even more. But uh, hopefully he can continue the training uh, very shortly. If Tom Lawrence is done and it's over the line, perhaps today tomorrow. How many other signings would you be hopeful of making? Well, I mean, I don't know. We're, we're still busy, but um, you know, I, I think a couple of more, yeah, yeah, because we, uh, I think we, we need that to be uh, to be successful throughout the whole season. Mm -hmm. You see, the last season we are uh, we are lacking a little bit mm -hmm. depth up front, you know, with the, the strikers we've lost, and uh, you know, I don't want to come in another situation where I have to play, you know, Joe as a striker, which, uh, but uh, just prepared for everything that can happen to this club, and then still still you know have quality year two. Is what? that the idea of the pitch that you are keen to address more just adding a bit more fire yeah, in that final more zone? like in the uh, in the attacking uh, the attacking position is to yeah. what can Tom add to the squad to well you? I mean if you see him uh, you know so a lot of games he played for, for Derby last year he's uh, you know he was the captain of the team so it means he has leadership qualities that otherwise I don't think Wayne will and have chosen him to be the captain, uh, but he's, uh, you know, he's a player who can, who can again, you know, bring goals and assists to this team uh, with his threat, you know, with the uh, ability to to, uh, to to get the shots on goal, to to assist the other players, uh, make his runs behind the defense, you know, be available in between lines. So he's a very complete player, and uh, you know, at an age where he's. Uh, Already been years on the on, on a level where he's uh, playing a lot. You know, he played a lot of games last year, so it means his physical ability is there and uh, his qualities as well. So again, he will again add quality to this squad.